Welcome to this video tutorial on how to create a blend material in V-Ray for Rhino. This type of material has a variety of uses, but in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to create a paint splatter and add it on top of a concrete wall. I'm going to be using this file I've got set up here, and we've applied a concrete texture to this part of the file as you can see in the render preview here. If you want to go back and watch a video on how to create a concrete texture, I'll put a link for that video in the description of this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up our blend material. So I'm going to open up the V-Ray Asset Editor, go to my Materials tab, click on Create New Material, and we're going to create a blend material here. We're going to rename this Paint Wall, and on that blend material I'm going to open up my material properties which is just on this right hand tab here and for the base we're going to apply our concrete material. Now you want to think of blend materials as having kind of a series of layers in which we're going to layer our material up. So we've got the concrete which is our base and then we're going to have the paint that's overlaid on top of that concrete. So the next thing we want to do is to create our paint material. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new material make this one generic this time and we're just going to make as if I was making that paint material by itself so we'll just call this paint and then in the diffuse I've got this paint splatter texture here which I've just found online which I'm going to drop in to the diffuse to give it that color of the paint so if we just click on the diffuse drop in a bitmap load it in and then hit back there and you can see that's now applied to my material. Now you also might want to play around with the reflection settings and we can up and lower that to make that kind of a shiny paint material. You also might want to kind of add a bit of bump if you want some surface to that paint but for now I'm just going to leave that as it is. So now you've created your paint texture. We're going to go back to our paint wall texture and we're going to add an additive mode here. So if we click on add coat it will load up this coat option and we can drop in a material for the first coat of our blend material. Now I'm going to drop in my paint there and what you'll see it's done is it literally just drops that paint material directly on top of the concrete. Now at the moment if we just apply that to my selection and do a quick render preview of that you'll see that it's got some of the kind of bump of the concrete it looks like they've overlaid on top of each other but we haven't really got the kind of paint splatter effect that we want because it's still got that white texture in it. We're getting a bit of that white sort of overlaying on the concrete as well. Now to truly blend this properly, we need to play around with this blend amount and you'll see if I set it to fully white, it will mean that the paint layer will completely cover up the concrete. And if I set it to fully black, the concrete will kind of cover up the paint as it were, the paint will be completely sort of disappeared. So we need to create our own blend texture in order to blend our material correctly so we just get the paint splatter on the concrete. Now I'm going to do this in Photoshop. All I've done here is I've loaded in my paint texture. I'm going to select my magic wand tool. We'll click, make sure that it's on contiguous here and the tolerance is quite low. Select a white area, make a brand new layer fill that in black and then just hide your paint and we're just going to save this texture out as a JPEG here and we're going to call this paint alpha because essentially what we're doing here is we're creating an alpha or a cutout map in order to cut out our paint from its background and therefore once it's overlaid onto the concrete with this map you'll just see the paint drops on the concrete so if we go back to our Rhino material find our blend settings and instead of just choosing a color I'm going to go to the map option load in a bitmap and we're going to load in this paint alpha there like so. Now what you'll see and if we load up our render preview again is that the paint drops will be completely removed from the background and we'll get this nice overlay of the paint on our concrete texture. And that's pretty much all there is to it. That's how to create a blend texture in V-Ray. And like I said, you can use this for a variety of options. You can overlay lots of different textures on top of each other. And as long as you're using these different mask maps, 
to kind of cut out the different materials then you can very easily overlay and start to kind of build up layers of materials so thank you for watching this tutorial i hope you found this helpful and if you'd like to watch any other tutorials on rhino modeling or texturing or rendering in v-ray please check out the videos on the channel